monotheistic religions have uh, embedded in them uh, a potential, uh, perhaps an exceptional potential, for um, boundary making uh, that is intolerant. Beyond that, all of our religions, I think, are instruments of the more fundamental human problem of fear. And that, that's the root for all of us, isn't it? And then we appropriate our religions. I take what ammunition we think that our religions are handing us and use them to reinforce uh, what the worst that our fears want to do. Perhaps even beyond or even more profoundly than fear, there's, there's a, a human instinctual issue, it seems to me, of the need for security. Uh, so of, of all things that give security, perhaps religion is the chief, provided it says you have the best religion or you have the surest path to uh, safety in the next life. All the benefits of this life depend on feeling some security. So it, it can be desperate in some people who've been deprived from a, from a normal amount of security in childhood. What happens when you encounter uh, somebody in your tradition? I imagine you in the halls of the Vatican, you know, going and encountering somebody who's rigidly intolerant. Who would, who well, would I was be? rigidly intolerant. Yeah. So what's because your strategy? What, what's the uh, most of what we were about? taught? So it took me, uh, well, 50 or 60 years to to get over that, uh, to recover. <laughs> it's a very powerful affirmation to believe that there's only one religion that is salvific, that really redeems you or that makes you fully human or whatever. One of the things that I was uh, uh, thinking is that, uh, and this ties into uh, intolerance coming from thinking I know something which I don't really know. So the, uh, the need to uh, be certain about my beliefs and because of insecurity wanting to uh, reinforce my beliefs by forcing it on other people. It's not easy to let go of because it means that your deepest motive for security is, is is based on faith and faith. When you asked, when does faith become intolerant? When it becomes a belief system. Faith and belief are not the same thing. Belief is, is doctrine and dogma and so on. But faith is the is the, is the spontaneous openness to the goodness of God. It's, a, it's trust in reality or nature or uh, the absolute, whatever your a path to God has been, uh, there it is. And once you uh, negotiated that path, you are in everybody else's path. So beyond the I, or beyond the, get rid of the false self, you get to the true self. Well, beyond the true self is a still deeper self, which is the mystery of unity, of Christ in us, of God manifesting in each human being through their uniqueness.